Greetings everybody, welcome back to Weekly Wildlife Wisdom. As so far, I have been your host, Zero Yeti. And without further ado, let's go right into it. The first animal of the week being the llama, also known as the llama glama, scientifically. It is a species of camelid native to the mountains and steppes of western South America. Naturally found in Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, llamas have since been introduced all over the world as livestock, particularly due to their high-quality wool. Uh, they are domesticated animals, which have been utilized by Andean cultures as meat, wool, and pack animals for some six to 7,000 years. They are generally described as good-natured animals with, that are curious but easy to train. Llamas are social animals, live in mixed-sex herds, where males often form very close bonds, and members of a llama group have a constantly changing social rank based off of small fights within the herd. These consist of spitting, ramming, neck wrestling, and kicking. Uh, and these jousts help the llamas to be ready and in fighting shape or to ward off potential predators, such as cougars, bears, and various canines. Because of this behavior, llamas are frequently employed as guard animals. Reach around 5.5 to 6 feet, or 1.6 to 1.8 meters tall, and 3 to 5 feet, or 0.9 to 1.5 meters in length, and around 285 to 600 pounds, or 130 to 270 kilograms in weight, Llamas sport a long neck, long legs, a stocky body. It's co- typically covered in thick, shaggy wool, which is white, tan, orange, red, piebald, black, or gray in color. Unusual for most large mammals, llamas are induced ovulators, which means that mating causes an egg to be released. Due to this, females will often get pregnant after their first mating event. She'll be pregnant for around 11 and a half months and then give birth to a single young known as a Korea. Uh, the baby will begin eating solid food around two weeks old and be fully weaned by six to ten months. Females reach sexual maturity around one year of age, while males will reach sexual maturity around three years of age. Under ideal conditions, the llama may live upwards of 25 years. Next up is the common cuttlefish, also known as the European cuttlefish. It is one of the largest and best known cuttlefish species in the genus Sepia. It is native to the waters of the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean, North, and Baltic seas. They are a migratory species which spends the summer and spring in shallow inshore waters, sometimes even brackish estuaries. Uh, they then move to depths of 330 to 650 feet, or 100 to 200 meters, during autumn and winter. Common cuttlefish tend to spend their days resting underneath sandy or muddy substrate, and then emerging at night to hunt prey, such as shrimp, small fishes, crabs, clams, lobsters, and snails. Uh, common cuttlefish are themselves preyed upon by sharks, large bony fish, seals, dolphins, porpoises, octopi, squid, and other cuttlefish. They have many defense mechanisms to help protect them from predators, including a siphon, which they use to shoot water out of, to propel themselves at high speeds away from danger. Ink, uh, they also have ink, which can be used to distract and disorient predators as the cuttlefish escapes, and then their camouflage abilities can help them avoid predators altogether. Reaching nearly 3 feet or 90 centimeters in length, the common cuttlefish is amongst the largest species of cuttlefish. They have an internal cuttle bone, which assists in buoyancy, and this cuttle bone often washes up on beaches after the cuttlefish has died, and is used to supplement the diets of pet birds and other reptiles. The common cuttlefish has two highly developed eyes, eight arms, which are located on the, around the mouth, and are used to hold and move objects. They also have a pair of feeding tentacles, which are longer and thinner than the other tentacles, and are normally hidden from sight, only really using them to feed. Uh, like many cephalopods, their skin is covered in chromatophores, which are specially colored cells that can stretch and contract to allow the cuttlefish to rapidly change color. The colors are created by the colors created reflect the health and mood of the cuttlefish, and special patterns and colors are used in courtship and to startle predators. Breeding occurs during the spring and summer in shallow waters, and the male cuttlefish will display a black and white zebra pattern on their mantle in order to attract females, and females will display a uniform gray color in order to indicate they are ready to mate. Around 30 to 90 days after mating, a mother cuttlefish will lay 100 to 1,000 eggs and attach them to seaweed shells in the substrate in order to prevent them from drifting away. Each of these eggs also have ink deposits to help them uh, camouflage. Under ideal conditions, a common cuttlefish will reach sexual maturity around 14 to 18 months of age and may live just two years. 
Next up is the gray rat snake, also commonly known as the central rat snake, the chicken snake, the midland uh, rat snake, or the pilot black snake. It is a species of non-venomous snake in the genus Pantheropus in the subfamily Colubrinae, which is native to the central and eastern North America from the Great Lakes down to the Gulf of Mexico. They are an agile climber. Uh, which is home from the ground to the treetops and can be found throughout both temperate, evergreen, and deciduous forests, as well as swamps, marshes, treeline streams, and fields. And are even found in rural areas, typically around uh, houses, barns, and sheds. They are, that is a cat screaming in the background, if you can hear that. Sorry, they're being social. There's cats outside, they can see them through the window. Uh, they are a scent based hunter and a powerful constrictor which feeds upon rodents frogs lizards small birds and eggs when startled the gray rat snake like other rat snakes stops and remains motionless with its body held in a series of wave-like kinks the snake will also rattle its tail against whatever it's lying upon making an audible buzzing sound the gray rat snake will defend itself by raising its head and bluffing a strike if handled it will must the victim with a foul smelling chemical and will bite if necessary, reaching around three and a quarter to a little over eight feet in length, or 99 to 247 centimeters in length. The gray rat snake is a medium to large serpent, which typically sports a gray background color with a brown to dark gray blotches. A series of brown to dark gray blotches. The belly is white with a box-like dark gray to brownish blotches, and dark spots that become stripes under the tail. There is considerable variation in the coloration of this species, depending on its locality, with those in the south typically retaining their vivid juvenile patterns, while those in the north typically become solid black or gray in color. Uh, breeding occurs from April to July, after which, uh, after mating, the female will deposit 527 eggs in a shallow burrow where they will incubate for around 8 to 10 weeks. Under ideal conditions, a gray rat snake will reach sexual maturity around 7 to 9 years of age, and we live up to 30 years. Next up is the black kite, also known as Milvus migranus, scientifically. It is a bird of prey in the family Asipitridae, and is possibly the most numerous and widespread species of raptor on Earth, being found throughout much of Europe, the Middle East, both mainland Africa as well as Madagascar, uh, both northern and southern mainland Asia, as well as Japan, Indonesia, New Guinea, and Australia. Throughout its great range, the black kite dwells in a variety of habitats, including wetlands, coastlines, temperate grasslands, tropical savannas, shrublands, scrublands, open woodlands, agricultural areas, and even large cities. In fact, they only really avoid dense forests, open sand dune desert, and high mountains. Excuse me. They are a highly social species, which tends to form large flocks that are larger than the flocks of most of the raptors. Uh, they spend their night in large communal roosts before taking flight in the morning to hunt throughout the day. Black kites most often uh, hunt by gliding and soaring on thermals as they search for prey, such as fish, rodents, bats, smaller birds, insects, and small reptiles. They typically catch these prey by swooping down with their legs lowered and snatching the victim with ease. They are also attracted to smoke and wildfires where they seek escaping prey and are commonly called firehawks due to their ability and propensity to spread fires by picking up and dropping burning twigs or chunks of grass so as to flush and kill even more prey. They are also known to regularly feed upon carrion and human garbage and are known to drop items such as sticks and rocks onto nesting waterfowl or weaver nests in order to tear open the structures and eat the eggs and chicks. Black kites are themselves preyed upon by eagles and especially the Eurasian eagle owl. Reaching around 20 to 24 inches or 52 to 60 centimeters in length or, and 22 to 33 ounces or 630 to 940 grams in weight, sporting a 55 to 60 inch or 140 to 150 centimeter wingspan, these mid-sized birds are generally dark in color. Um, their upper plumage is brown, but the head and neck tend to be paler, and there's a patch behind the eye that appears darker. The outer flight feathers are black, and the feathers have a dark cross bands and, molted at, and are molted at the base. 
Lower parts of the body are pale brown, becoming lighter towards the chin. The body feathers have dark shafts, giving it a striped appearance, and the sear and gap are yellow, but the bill is black. The legs are yellow, and the claws are black. These monogamous birds mate for life, typically build a nest out of sticks, twigs, grasses, and the occasional plastic or fabric, uh, typically in tree branches, on cliff ledges, or on top of buildings, and these nests may be reused in subsequent years. Here the female will lay two to three eggs, which is then incubated by both parents, for around 30 to 34 days. Under ideal conditions, a black cat will fledge and become independent after around 50 days, and reach mature around two years. They may live up to 25 years. Next up is the Norway lemming, also known as the Norwegian lemming. It is a common species of rodent in the genus Lemonis, uh, which is endemic to the Finno-Scandinavian peninsula and the Novaya Zemlya archipelago, where they can be found throughout Norway, Sweden, Finland, and part of Russia. Nor the Norway lemming is a generally solitary migratory creature, which is active at both day and night alternating naps between periods of activity. They inhabit tundra, taiga, alpine areas, heathlands, and wetlands, prefer, pre preferring to be near water sources. And they feed upon sedges, grasses, flowers, mosses, lichens, bark, berries, roots, bulbs, and shoots. Norway lemmings are themselves preyed upon by weasels, foxes, wolves, wolverines, ermines, mink, marten, owls, hawks, falcons, gulls, and jaegers. Uh, during the summer months, these rodents reside in complex underground tunnel systems. Come winter, they often extend these burrows into and underneath the snow, greatly extending their home ranges. In spite of the myth perpetuated by the Disney movie White Wilderness, lemmings never commit mass suicide by jumping off of cliffs. Uh, instead, Nora lemmings have a dramatic three to four year population cycle in which the species population periodi periodically rises to unstable levels. Such high population density leads the social, to social friction, distress, and causes a mass dispersal in random directions, which with each lemming looking for vacant territory. This often drives them to traveling long distances across unfamiliar territory, leading to high mortality. Reaching upwards of 6 inches or 150 millimeters in length and around 4.5 or 100 ounces or 130 grams in size, it is one of the largest lemming species, with both sexes sporting thick bodies, small tails, and large front teeth. The fur is heavy, uh, helping the animal keep warm during the cold winter months. Mainland Norway lemmings display the same coloration year-round, uh, which is typically black and brown with golden yellow bands in contrast. The Novia Zimlaya lemming has a cryptic gray coloration. They are promiscuous species which breed year-round. Females of the species are very productive, able to yield a litter every three to four weeks. The gestation period typically lasts 16 to 23 days, producing 14 to 16 babies at a time. Under ideal conditions, a Norway lemon will reach sexual maturity around three to four years of age and may live upwards three to four weeks of age and may live upwards of three years. Next up is the brook trout, which is also known as the eastern brook trout, the speckled trout, the brook char, the square tail, the brookie, or the mud trout. It is a species of freshwater fish in the char genus Salvalinus of the salmon family Salamidae. It is native to eastern North America and the United States and Canada, but has been introduced elsewhere in North America as well as to Iceland, Europe, and Asia. The brook trout inhabits large and small lakes, rivers, streams, creeks, and spring ponds where they prefer cool, clear waters and feed upon invertebrates, amphibians, smaller fish, and voles. Uh, brook trout are themselves eaten by water snakes, heron, kingfisher, bears, otters, snapping turtles, hellbenders, and large fish. Uh, brook trout are notably vary in appearance and behavior depending on which environment they inhabit, with there being three distinct morphs, large lake, these fish uh, spend their entire lives inside of large freshwater lakes and feed mainly on other fish. They typically grow larger than the other morphs. There is the sea run or salter morph, and these fish migrate to salt water such as the Atlantic Ocean, Laboratory Sea, or the Hudson Bay for short periods to feed. They are more silver in color than the other morphs. 
then finally there's the small generalist morph, which lives in small lakes, ponds, streams, and rivers. It is smaller than the others and definitely has a shorter lifespan than the others, but breeds more often. <coughs> I'm very sorry about that. <coughs> Brook trout vary in size, typically reaching 9 to 26 inches or 25 to 65 centimeters in length. At around half a pound to 6.5 pounds in weight or 0. 0.3 to 3 kilograms in weight. Um, Brook trout have darker, have dark olive green color with marbled yellow speckles uh, with large red bellies and lower fins. Their body is wide in the middle and tapers at both ends. Its head is a large mouth and a rounded snout. Brook trout spawn from October to November and the female creates a shallow reed nest in a clear area with small gravel or stones. Here she lays around 100 to 400 eggs, which are then fertilized by multiple males and then buried by the female. The eggs hatch around 90 to 100 days later in the spring, and under ideal conditions of brook trout, fish will reach sexual maturity around 2 to 3 years of age and live up to 15 years. And our extinct animal of the week is Leopleurodon, which is an extinct genus of large carnivorous marine reptile belonging to the genus, uh, well, belonging to the clade, Thalascophonia, a clade of short-necked pliosaurid plesiosaurs. Leopleurodon lived throughout the warm seas that covered what is now Europe from the Calvonian stage of the Middle Jurassic to the Chromidian stage of the Late Jurassic period, some 166 to 155 million years ago. Many species of Leopleurodon were many specimens of Leopleurodon were unearthed long before the species was accurately named. Uh, with the possibility of the first consisting of a large tooth recovered from the Fricktal, from Fricktal, Switzerland in 1838 by Hermann von Meyer, who named the specimen Ischirodon morani. In 1941, Meyer would find a uh, partial skeleton consisting of teeth, a partial skull, and vertebrae, as well as ribs, in Germany, which he would name Thaumatosaurus otholicus. Uh, in 1852, yet more teeth would be found by John Andreas Wagner from Bavaria, Germany, who named them Pliosaurus giganteus. And more teeth were unearthed by Hermann Transkold in 1860. The genus name Leopleurodon was coined by Henry Emil Savage in 1873 from yet more teeth when he was studying the fossil collection of Alfred Leeds. In the following years, Alfred and his brother Charles Edward Leeds would collect many more specimens which they would assign to Leopleurodon, including a few intact skulls and partial skeletons. Uh, over the next century, many more remains would be recovered from Switzerland, Britain, Ireland, France, Germany, and Russia. In 1960, uh, Lambert Beverly Halstead, then known as Tarlow, published a rigorous paper of Pliosaur Taxonomy and Anatomy, merging Thyrosaurodon, Thematosaurus, Polyplecrodon, and many species of Pliosaurus into Leopleurodon. In 2015, two partial skeletons recovered from the town of Talaxico in Oaxacada, Mexico, were assigned as possibly Leopleurodon, which would extend the creature's range in North America, reaching 16 to 23 feet in length, or 5 to 7 meters, and around 2,200 to 7,200 pounds, or 1,000 to 3,265 kilogram, 3, kilograms in weight. The real life Leopleurodon was notably much smaller than it was depicted in the BBC television series Walking with Dinosaurs, which showed as an enormous 80 foot long or 25 meter long and uh, 330,000 pound or 149,685 kilogram predator. Its enormous skull and four strong paddle like limbs suggest Leopleurodon was a powerful swimmer and ambush predator which likely fed upon cephalopods, crustaceans, fish, and other marine reptiles. As always, take care to my guys, gals, non-binary pals. Sorry for this being a long one.